I've been reading the reviews. As you know, they're mostly positive, though there is a note of skepticism on just how well this phone can do. How important is the device to the future of BlackBerry? Well, it's always an important device. I mean, device is always an important part of our business. Um, but we, you also know that we are generating a lot of business in the software world mm -hmm. and the connected cars and everything connected and IoT and all that buzzwords. But, so we're doing a lot of different things. So, but it's still very important. Nothing creates as much buzz, though, as a new consumer device. I know. Is yeah, that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. You know, it's like, you know, the, I, I learned some time ago that, you know, you like people to talk about you, good or bad. Right? The worst thing is nobody mentioned you. <laughs> Stop That's existing. Right. So, so, no, it's a good thing. And, and, and we love the attention. Um, and it's kind of challenging. So we love the challenge. Challenging why? Well, I mean, we lost our number one position a number of years ago. You know, in 2007, we like, everybody has a BlackBerry. And BlackBerry, BBM, you know, it's kind of like the everyday word. Um, so a number of things have happened, and we lost that position when trying to come back. So everybody now become a critic. So you know, some of them remember the past and, and then compare us from that. And some of them thought about the current competition with you know, the other fruit company. And, <laughs> the fruit uh, uh, So I'm, I don't want to mention my competitors the, on the, the air. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it. I, Many people <laughs> feel like Apple is unstoppable. And the one place they couldn't get into was business because we all use Blackberries for work. And then you had CEOs and C-suite executives walk into their IT department and say, I have this tablet, I have this iPad, I make, need to use it, it, it work at work. For me. Right. And now that Apple ecosystem has made its way into corporate America. What are you doing about that? That's your dojo. Well, so the first thing we do, well, first of all, we didn't like that happen. <laughs> so, but anyway, that, since, it, since it happened, like it when that happened. So, so since it happened, uh, and the first thing we did was we created a lot of software that manages everything. So it's not just managing BlackBerry. You know, if you talk about any sea change, it was because that you know we make sure that all the know-how that we have, which is huge. A lot of, of, of technology managers could, could be run on everybody's devices and manage everybody's devices, Samsung, Knox, and, and you know, the company, you know, with Apple and so forth. Um, so that's really important. Then, but then there are also um, a category of users that looks for high end, looks for the keyboard for productivity, looks for battery that you never charge during the day. I don't even need wireless charging because all you need to go to bed and you plug it in and that was it. Um, so, uh, so you look for all these features and security and privacy and that's what this is for. So we are addressing a segment of market and we hope that market segment goes bigger and bigger. Um, and apparently, I'm not going to name names on the air, but there was a lot of celebrities now wanting that device, this device though. There are a lot of people, analysts, Wait, investors. Wait, you got to ask then about Alicia Keys. There is a big risk. He had nothing to do with Alicia Keys, But there's Keys, a big though. risk in tying yourself to celebrities who are saying, I back this product, I love this product. And then what happens? They're holding an iPhone, right? iPhones are cool. People think that the iPhone product has that great camera. So when you talk about celebrities liking your product, this is a dangerous place to play. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, I'm not asking celebrity publicly endorsing us. i just uh, amazed and, and, and happy the fact that they're using it now. Uh, so that's the, you know, uh, that, that's the part of, I'm mentioning about. I'm not going to have a celebrity spokesperson for you. Okay, so if it's not go. celebrities, how much marketing muscle in dollar terms are you going to put behind this phone? Quite a bit. I'm not going to give you a number. <laughs> well, what, I mean, what is quite a bit for BlackBerry? I don't well, know. We still, well, we're still a $3 billion company, and we have over $3 billion of cash right now. So we're pouring most of them in research and development because we want a new platform. Um, so, but, but I agree with Stephanie, is this is not about getting another well-known, you know, figures to use this and then ha come to final. You're not switch. looking for a Kanye selfie. Yes, exactly. Well, well selfie I could, I could handle, but, not, <laughs> but uh, anyway. Um, why now? And, and the reason why now isn't because I'm saying Android isn't a good idea. Maybe it's a great idea, but there are people, like I say, users, customers, you know, shareholders, who, who want to know why you didn't do this before? Well, I just got here. I mean, literally. So, <laughs> well, two years I mean, a couple ago. of years ago. Yeah, a couple of years Almost ago. Almost to the day, in fact, right? Uh, yeah, um, November 4th. So we, well, yesterday was my two-year anniversary. But um, it takes time. Uh, it takes time to develop the partnership. It takes time to develop technology. Could you have done it before? Uh, in, in one way. From a technological point of view, yes, absolutely. 
Uh, you, we could have done it uh, before, but you know, again, you know, uh, putting a product like this together, marrying the best of two worlds, you know, everything we know about security, all our backend system, you know, we have a um, a pretty interesting dashboard in here to tell you who's pinging you, for example. Um, uh, so those are all things that we put in. It takes time to do that. You say it takes time. How much time do you need? Because we're living in an environment where the public shareholders are very impatient. How much time do you need to make this really happen? I told everybody two years ago that it would take me three years. So, so one more year. I'm two-thirds into this. All right. If the, so, uh, if, go ahead. In success. Uh, how does this new product relate to the rest of your business? Because you mentioned you have a big business that's apart from, from cell phones, right. practically. Uh, is it the idea that if I go and buy one of these, it's more likely I'll use your other products? How does that connection uh, make? So, so back to the earlier uh, the conversation about you know, enterprises and government using our phones. and they, they use our phone more securely because also because our software, the servers. Like, for example, the, you know, our Department of Defense uses our servers. and. To manage all devices, but happen to be all BlackBerry devices, but um, that's one of those situations. So it, it doesn't it doesn't really have to, but if you want to really take the highest level of security and privacy, um, then you should marry the two together. John, here's what some of those enterprise and government customers are wondering: If this phone, if this device, the one that you've got in your hand, the Priv, doesn't meet your expectations, what happens to BlackBerry's handset business? Well, we will then migrate more to more in the software. But and when I mentioned software, everybody thought I'm, I'm building this big mainframe type software and server software. I'm talking about also software that goes in the phone. So, you know, if we don't get a, a good hardware business going, like making money and all that good stuff, then we will be more concentrated on the software side. But will you get out of hardware? Is that it could, it, it, well, the market will tell us. I mean, I, I never rule anything out. And you're giving it until when? At what point do you need to make that decision? Uh, now, let me answer this way, because I don't want my marketing people go crazy. We do. We do, actually. Okay, so far, it looks like that we're good to be sustaining the hardware business. Can I just show you, Ma'am, please, uh, please If you do. break down, and I've been uh, looking into the Bloomberg to pull out hardware revenue versus software revenue. So hardware revenue are the blue columns here uh, going back to 2006, peaking there in 2011. Uh, software is the yellow columns here. So I actually expected to see much bigger yellow columns because I know that um, from covering the auto industry, the automakers, especially the luxury automakers, but also GM and others are using BlackBerry software. So why aren't the yellow columns bigger and are they going to? Good. Uh, they, they, they will have to. Yeah. Right. Um, because that, the market's deciding the hard, you, as you said yourself, the market is going to decide whether or not hardware is the business that you stay in, you know. Right. So, so I'll answer the software question this way. We are now, a lot of the automakers, I think we're in up 250 cars or something, model. Um, and, but we, we got pay as they roll out the car. So it's a royalty base. So if you think about the whole idea of charging people money when they use our software on a monthly basis. This is the reason why you should be seeing the, the, the yellow line or the, the, orange, the orange bar going up on a gradual basis. John, how big a business do you have in automotive? Can you quantify it and how much of that is coming from the new wave, which is to say autonomous driving, something that you've been looking at for at least a couple of years? We don't, we don't break it out for, for obvious reasons. Um, we, don't, we don't have segments. Um, so we, but, this year, we believe that we'll get about half a billion dollars in the software business. Half a billion dollars in the software business, the software of which business. automotive is a significant part? It's a reasonable significant. The reason I mention this, you know, Matt knows this, one company in the autonomous driving industry, a supplier, Mobileye, trades at 100 times forward earnings. If you had a significant autonomous driving software business, I'd have to believe BlackBerry stock would be worth a little more than it is today. I, I, can't, I can't answer any stock question. <laughs> <laughs> that but, way, but I'm always very biased, obviously. If, if you're, but if, if Mobile Iron could be a possible target, an acquisition target, are they? Um, mobile Iron. Mobile Iron. Could they be a possible acquisition target? Mobile for you? Iron. Yes. Mobile Iron. Yeah. Mobile Iron. Oh, I, I think Mobile Iron is right. a bit too expensive uh, at the moment. Uh, yeah, you know. But you've been buying. Stephanie are you, probably, are you still, probably right are you on still the Mobile shopping Iron part. For software? Are you still shopping for software? Because if you're going, if that yellow bar is going to. Grow so we made f we, we made five acquisitions in the last 20 months. The reason, the most recent close was good technology. Yeah. And are there more coming? I think it will be. There Absolutely. will be. Yeah. 
Well, just just give. Uh, and now, now I'm, uh, I'm piquing your interest. I, uh, you are. You're piquing our interest. <laughs> See, producers you're kill us. We're we're kill us. John Shen. Because okay. you know I like me some BlackBerry. Yeah. John, thank you. Yeah. It's a fun phone. Thank I have you. to say that I've been trying it for a couple days. Yeah, BlackBerry CEO John Chen. Thanks for being with us.